Hey y'all, it's Laura and welcome back to day 27 of my Scrap Timber Video a Day Marathon. This is a collaboration with the Scrappy Sisters and Christie's Beautiful Life with special guest Cynthia Erica Breezy, along with a lovely group of ladies joining in every single day, all linked down in the description box below. Now we do have a sketch for today, of course, you saw that at the beginning of the video, and it is calling for three photos. I'm going to be using two and using the center as a part of my title. I also am going to be using cut aparts. I'm going to be using lots of ephemera pieces and we're going to do a very diagonal background here. Now the prompt for today is long title and my title actually ends up being two parts so it's really really long. <laughs> Now, I am using my September stash kit for this layout, and it is very school themed. Now, not every single layout that I'm using for this kit is actually school themed, but this one happens to be. It is documenting my son's fifth grade year, and his teacher allowed us to take a picture with her at that time. Now, this was several years ago. He's in 11th grade now, and so six years ago, oh my goodness. And I found these photos and thought, you know what, let's go ahead and do a quick school layout. I love that we managed to capture a picture with his teacher because, you know, once they get a little bit older, that's often very difficult to do. Plus, they tend to have more than one teacher when they get a little higher up in the grades. Now, in the sketch, the triangles here are supposed to have a bit of a gap around the outside and in between them. And so I was trying to kind of eyeball it. I really did not stress too much about making these triangles perfect. Uh, I actually kind of wanted them a little bit wonky just for something a bit different. I find it's much easier to purposely make things wonky than it is to obsess about trying to make them straight because I just can't. I, I'm not going to get these guys perfectly straight no matter what I do. So it's better that I just go with the wonkiness. Now, just to give it a little bit of a shadow and a little appearance of dimension, I am going to go ahead and outline it with just my little pen here. Now, this is a pen. I've gotten some questions about this pen. It is my absolute favorite pen for journaling, and it is called a Muji Gel Pens. So that's M-U-J-I, and I really, really like it. I use it for all of my journaling and outlining, and I just find that it's a nice, smooth gel pen that just works every single time. I do buy them in bulk in Amazon. I'm a big fan of that pen. So now here's a cut apart that I want to use as part of my title. Now, in order to make a nice long title, I'm going to go ahead and use both a cut apart and an ephemera piece. But I want to make sure that both my photos and this cut apart will stand out on the background because I've got both a black and white and a bright yellow check that are really competing for attention in the background. And so in order to make my photos stand out, I am going to go ahead and map them. I'm going to map my photos on this beautiful rainbow stripe. And then I'm going to go ahead and mat my cut apart piece in the center on some black paper, which gives it a nice thick outline and definitely helps it pop off the back of the page. I'm also using this rainbow stripe to help me introduce more color to this layout. Now, if you look at my photos, there is not a lot of color happening in them. It's pretty much just black and a little bit of white and a little bit of teal and a little tiny pop of yellow. And that's all we've got. There's really not a whole lot to work from here. There's not a lot to pull inspiration from. And so I'm going to be using this rainbow stripe that I've matted my photos with as the inspiration. That's where I'm going to pull the, the colors from for this layout. So I've gone ahead and taped these three together in kind of a staggered format going up the diagonal. And then I'm going to bring in my little embellishment tray. Now this is just a condiment tray from Amazon and they're relatively cheap. I actually bought it in a pack of four and it's because I always keep three kits on the go in my craft room. So this helps me to just keep those embellishments organized and easy to access. I can flip through them very easily. If you're familiar with my craft room tour, I am a big fan of flipping through your product. I think it's very helpful to have easy access to everything. And so that's why I find these condiment trays so helpful. They are three section condiment trays. And so I'm able to pour out a whole pack of ephemera in one. I can have cut aparts in another and I can have fussy cut florals, for example, in the third. And it makes it really easy to just look through them without them spread out all over your desk. 
So while I'm just flipping through this ephemera, I do want to remind you that we have a Facebook group for Scrap Timber. And not only do we have the daily challenges every single September, this is the fourth year running we've done that, but we also have a monthly challenge the rest of the year. So we hope you'll come and join us over there at the Facebook group Scrap Timber, and you'll get to see all of our challenges at once. We post them at the beginning of September, and you can, at your leisure, go ahead and have a play, find some inspiration, see what speaks to you, and give it a go. Now, I am pulling in the most random bits of ephemera here. I've got some Petri dishes at the bottom left. I have some globes and a light bulb at the top right. <laughs> Really, I'm pulling these items in for both their shape and their color, not so much for what they actually are. And particularly when you're dealing with really large icons like this, I find tucking them behind photos is a much easier way to use them. So tucking them like this into clusters is a great way to use them. If you're making a grid layout, you can devote a whole card or grid piece to this larger ephemera, which I probably will also do at some point off camera, and get these used up. This has been such a fun month, and I have loved the color palette of this kit. It's very primary colors and secondary colors, but the icons are pretty wide open. I included both a school ephemera pack and a non-school ephemera pack so that I had a pretty wide variety of embellishments to pull from and could hopefully do more than just school layouts. So now I bring in some little bits and pieces here, just trying to see what I can get used, how much can I squeeze onto this layout before it feels done, and that's pretty much the name of the game with this one one is how much can I squeeze on it before it feels done. So I found this ephemera piece that said my favorite teacher, which does fit quite well with this particular teacher. And so it makes for a nice long title that says, you rule my favorite teacher. So even though I didn't use a single alpha on this page, I have a nice long title that fits in perfectly with the scrap timber prompt of long title. Love when that works out for me. <laughs> <laughs> now, this particular design is a bit more diagonal than the original sketch. The original sketch had diagonals in the background, but the actual photos and embellishments were very linearly horizontal, left to right. I chose to move along that diagonal line just to make it a little bit more interesting, to add a little bit more fun to the layout. And I honestly think that if I had another border sticker in that smaller size, I probably would have put it along that diagonal in the background. But the only one I had was really thick on this sticker sheet, and I thought it would be a bit much. But that's an idea if you do decide to give this particular design a go is consider putting a piece of border strip down the middle of your layout and give it a little definition to that line. That worked out really, really well. So adding in some more stickers here, trying to get as much of this as used up as possible. I have had this one in my stash for a little while. I think this one came out last year, pretty sure. And it's not one that I wanna keep long term, so I wanna make sure that I use up as much of it as possible and get these pages made. Now I know this may look a bit higgledy-piggledy, bit of a hodgepodge, if you will, but I promise it does come together. And it's really funny how it comes together. The last few bits and pieces really make the whole thing work. And Often, that happens a lot with my layouts, actually. Those fine details, the last few things that I add quite often make a huge difference to the page and can even change the whole way you're viewing it. Now, I am bringing in some Scrap and Happy Studio. These little hearts make my heart sing. They are maps. Maps! How cool is that? I'm a big fan of epoxy flare, but you give me some map hearts and I'm just over the moon, over the moon. They're so cute. 
bring in some little scattering pieces because we're wrapping up the layout. Always finish off my layouts with scattering and splattering. Going to be using these little enamel shaped stars and then the teeny, 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 tiny little enamel stars and I get those from Etsy. Now the seller I normally buy them from is not currently selling them anymore, but I'm sure you can find them. They are Funny Sticker World. That's the name of these tiny ones because I always get asked and I love them. I just don't remember to pull them out very often. So I'm just creating small little clusters of tiny embellishments around the outside of each of the clusters. Then coming in with my controlled splatter via Nuvo Drops in gold, of course. And then Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold, splattering uncontrolled all the way around all of my clusters. It's funny how this one does come together in the end. It really is those details, guys, that make all the difference. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, bye y'all.